Chapter 6, Lesson 2, Color Screams. Colors are like musical instruments. Each instrument has a special sound. In the same way, putting colors together without a plan can be confusing and unpleasant to your eyes. Color without organization can look like a visual argument. A plan for organizing colors is called a color scheme. When they come into direct contact, their difference are more obvious. A yellow-green surrounded by green looks more yellow. This effect is called simultaneous contrast. A color scheme is a plan for organizing colors according to their relationship on the color wheel. You can avoid putting together colors in confusing and unpleasant ways. The following are some most frequently used color schemes. Monochromatic colors. Monochrome means one color. It is a color scheme that uses only one hue and the tints and shades of that hue. It has a strong unifying effect on the design since it is a limited scheme. It is very easy, easy to organize furniture or clothing using this style. It can be boring. That is its drawback. Analogous colors. There are colors that sit side by side on the color wheel and have a common hue. Violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange all have red in common. A narrow color scheme would be limited only to three hues, like violet, red, violet, and red. It creates design that ties one shape to the next to a common color. Complementary colors. The strongest contrast on the hue is produced by complementary colors. When they are placed side by side behind intensity, they seem to vibrate. It is difficult to focus on the edge where the complements touch. They use this to create special effects that sparkle, snap, and sizzle if they are charged with electricity. They are exciting, they are loud, and they demand to be used, noticed. They are frequently used to catch the viewer's attention. How many ways do people use the ranging color scheme? Where else have you seen complementary color schemes used to grab attention? Not all color schemes are based are loud and demanding. Some of the hues are low intensity, the contrast is not so harsh. Changing the value of the hues will also soften the effect of design. Color triad it is composed of three colors spaced a distance apart on the color wheel. The contrast between triad colors is not as strong as between complements. The primary triad is composed of red, yellow, and blue. It contains orange, green, and violet. High intensity primary triad is very difficult to work with. The contrast between three hues is so strong it might make people uncomfortable. A triad may, can be made more comfortable to the viewer by changing the intensity of values. A triad of secondary colors is less disturbing. Chapter 6, Lesson 2, Part 2 Split Complements A split complement is a combination of one hue plus the hues on each side of its complement. These are easier to work with in the straight complementary screen because it offers more variety. Red orange. Check the color wheel to find its complement. Blue green. They form a split complementary color scheme. Warm colors and cool colors. Two groups, warm and cool. Warm is red, associated with warm things like sunlight and fire. Cool colors are blue, associated with cool things with ice, snow, water. Warmer colors need to move towards the viewer and cool colors seem to recede or move away. Amount of color, more of the coolness is relative. Violet on a red background seems more cooler than violet alone, but seeing violet on a blue background can seem much warmer than the violet alone. Chapter 6, Lesson 3 Artists use color to create specific effects in art. Don't to make artists the way they look, but artists also use art color to express ideas and emotions. You will learn what you can do and you will learn how to use it so you can achieve the results you want. Understanding the nature and uses of the color will allow you to express yourself artistically. Paint. Paints are used in are made of three basic ingredients, pigment, binder, and solvent. Pigments are finely ground colored powders that form paint when mixed with a binder. They cannot match the purity and intensity of the colors of light. Binders material that holds together the grains of pigment in a form that can be spread over some surface. Instant oil is a binder for and seed oil is oil for most oil plants. Wax is used for caustic paint, gum arabic for watercolor paints, and acrylic polymer for acrylic paints. Chemical emulation is used to make school tempera paint. Many professional artists use Use a traditional method of making pure pigments with egg yolk for translucent tempera paint. These binders can give different qualities to the paint. The solvent is the liquid that controls the, the thickness and the, or the thinness of the paint. Turpentine is the solvent for all oil paints. Water is the solvent for watercolor 
watercolor and tempera. Water and acrylic medium is a solvent for wet acrylic paints. Once acrylic paint dries, it is waterproof. Paint pigments do not dissolve. They remain suspended in the binder. When applied, the pigments stay on top of the surface and dry. Pigments that dissolve in the liquid are called dyes. They do not remain on the surface like paint. Paints sink in a colorless surface by staining it. Visual effects of paint. The, paint, the pigment or binder of solvent in the surface to which person apply affect the color you see. Wet bind colors look brighter and darker than dry ones. And pearl and watercolor paints look duller and brighter after they dry. Oil paints glow even when dry because they're oil binder. If diluted with serpentine, the serpentine, the oil paints dry to a dull finish. Color and density of the surface receiving the paint affects the light waves to reflect to your eyes. You would perceive surface. Color surface absorbs some white wave, while the white surface reflects all white waves. Dense surface always faces always look bright because they reflect more light. Sources of pigment: animals, vegetables, and minerals. Beetle and the root of a certain plant were sources for red pigment. Plants deep transparent blue. Ultramarine blue is made by a stone. A color ultra was created by using natural clay from wine rust. Synthetic pigments have been developed by scientists. Borrow more pig permanent natural pigments, but many artists still prefer to use natural color. Many weavers color yarns with natural dyes. Contemporary painters use only natural earth pigments. It expresses the effects of color. They use color language art. Express thoughts, ideas, and emotions. There are many ideas used color to convey feelings, and realistic representation is only one of them. Optical color. Sometimes they reproduce colors as they see them. This was the way most Western artists painted. Try and capture if color actually appeared. Can change depending on their surroundings. Color is affected by the light in the colored doors and walls and even the color of the cars. The car may even sparkle as it reflects a showroom. Lights. Car may look dark blue and dark violet. The red from the color may cause a red violet paint on the blue surface. A painter who is trying to show the car in its setting will use all the colors involved. He or she will make use of optical color. The color that is result True colors affect my usual lighting and surroundings. Optical color is the color people actually perceive. Expressionists were deeply involved with optical color in relationship to light. They tried to express the sensation of light and atmosphere with their unique style of painting. They applied dots and dabs to color from the spectrum. They did not mix black from any colors. They made gray low intensity colors when complements together, mixing just black and white. These low intensity grays, such as dull blue and dull green, are much richer and look more natural. Landscapes in the grays may be mixing black and white. Chapter 6, Lesson 3 Arbitrary Color They usually ignore the optical colors of objects. They choose it by personal preference. They do it because they want to use color to express meaning. Color is formed when other elements become the subject as well as the meaning of the work. Colors affect feelings. Light, bright color can create happy, upbeat mood. Dark colors can express mysterious or depressing themes. Warm, low density earth tones seem comfortable and friendly. They are often used to decorate rooms in which people gather. A unique like value of red orange has been used to feel has even been accessible in calming violent prisoners. Blue is also known for its soothing qualities. Bright yellow is stimulating and pyretic sights. Artists they have to put their knowledge of color psychology to work on develop unusual methods of using color. Many are personal. They make colors say what they wish to express. Space. The placement of warm and cool colors can create illusions of debt. Warm colors advance towards the viewer and cool colors seem to recede and pull away. Movements. Color can create a sense of movement. When the values in work jump quickly from high key to very low key, a feeling of excitement and movement is created. When all the values are close together, the work seems much cal calmer. Create movement, debt, and abstract art. When you work with color to create movement, we're going to use values of pure hues as well as those of tints and shades. You need to remember, for instance, that pure hue yellow is much lighter than red or blue. Tonality. Sometimes an artist lets one color such as blue dominate a work. Blue tonality. To have a certain tonality, the painting does not have to be monochrome. Other colors may be present. The overall effect of the work, however, is one will be of one color. Tonality has a unifying approach. Chapter 6, Hue, Value, and Intensity. Color is the most expressive element in art. It shares a powerful connection with emotion. That's why we say, hear people say I'm feeling blue. It is also illustrated in a question we often ask friends. What's your favorite color? 
Our appreciation of color affects many of the choices we make. Properties of colors. How to mix colors to create shades you might use in your artwork. Color is an element of art that is derived from reflected light. Light waves are reflected from objects to your eyes. White light from the sun is actually a combination of all colors. When light passes through a wedge-shaped glass color prism, the beam of white light is spent in separating the band of color called the color spectrum. Same order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. A rainbow is a natural example of the spectrum. Rainbows occur when sunlight is bent by water, oil, or a grass, glass prism. You can find rainbows in the sky after a snow. Color because objects absorb some of these light waves and reflect it in others. A red apple looks red because it reflects red waves and absorbs the rest of the colors. Special color receptors in your eye detect the color of reflected light waves. Detects the lightness or darkness of the color. Colors don't change. Your ability to distinguish between them does. That's why your eyes have trouble seeing colors in dim light. Not enough light is reflected of objects for you to see their color. And you are looking at colors, your eyes can sometimes fool you. This is called an after image. It occurs when the receptor in your eyes retains a visual stimulation, you would have a cease. Your brain has created the after image as a reaction to the color you stared at originally. The after image of a color is the opposite of that color. Green is the opposite of red. So the after image is a color red. An after image is a strong color. It is only a ghost of a color. Some make use of the way your eyes work when they create optical illusion of color and movement. Properties are hue, value, intensity. Hue. Name of a color in a color spectrum such as red, blue, or yellow. The primary hues. You cannot make primary hues by mixing other hues together. However, by combining the three primary colors in black and white, you can produce every other color. Pri secondary hues are made by mixing two primary colors. Red and yellow make orange. Six intermediate colors are made by mixing a primary color with a secondary color. Red and orange make red orange. You can make many more variations by combining intermediate colors. A color wheel spectrum bent to a circle. Useful tool for organizing colors. Twelve color wheel. Showing primary, three secondary, and th six intermediate hues. Other color system. The three primary hues, red, yellow, and blue, are specifically the primary hues of pigment found in paints, pastels, and color pencils. Different color systems that apply to the colors seen on computer screens, always printed in magazines, and photographs are red, green, and blue, RGB. Pigment color system does not apply. C, M, Y, K, primary colors of the system. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Value. Our element that describes the darkness or lightness of a color. Mono light color reflects determines color value. Not all hues of a spectrum have the same value. Yellow light hue reflects the most light. Violet dark hue because it reflects the least light. Black, white, and gray are neutral colors. When white objects turn into a white object, the object reflects all the color and it does not absorb any. Graphic Design Chapter 6 Lesson 1 A black wave absorbs all the color waves. Black reflects no light. Black is the absence of light. Gray is impure light. It reflects equal part of each color wave. The more gray, light gray reflects, the lighter it looks. The more absorbs, the darker it looks. You can change the value of any hue by adding black or white. Light value is a tint, dark value is a shade. Shade is often used incorrectly to refer to both tints and shades. A tint is created by adding black. A shade is created by add tint is adding white. A shade is created by adding black. When artists want to show a bright sunny day, they use tints. High key paintings. Low key paintings have shades. Want to represent dark, gloomy days, nighttime, and dust. Dark values often add a feeling of mystery to a work. If a change in values gradual design produces a calm feeling, the values take leaps up and down the scale from almost white to almost black. Intensity. Intensity is the brightness and dullness of a hue. If a surface reflects only yellow white waves, for example, you see an intensely bright yellow. If it reflects other light waves, the color appear duller. It's called a high intensity color. Low density color have dull hues. Complementary colors are the Colors opposite each other in the color wheel. Observe all the white w light waves of reflects. Red and green are complements. Mixing a hue with its complement dulls the hue or lowers intensity. The more complement you add to a hue, the duller the hue looks. Eventually, the hue will lose its color e 
Pauline pair neutral gray. The hue used in the greatest amount of matrix comes dominant. For a reason, the figure may look dull, orange or dull blue, depending on color used. Brownish results. Hue value and intensity do not operate independently. They rely on one another to create the colors around you. When you observe colors, you see dull tints and bright tints. Dull shades and bright shades, light hues and dark hues will help you understand and use color.